Why don't they do what they say, say what they mean? One thing leads to another. There's some rough speed bumps, Jesus. Over here looks pretty good. I don't wanna get in the way of other shoppers. I don't wanna get kicked out. Yesterday I had the intention of filming another catch and cook video for you guys. My buddy and I went down to the beach here in Los Angeles. We were doing some surf fishing and the plan was to catch a few surf perch, get a bonfire because at Dockweiler State Beach you're allowed to bonfire. There's actually bonfire pits. But not only did we not get a bonfire pit because uh, we got there too late and it was a Friday night, so all of them were already taken. Uh, but the fishing just completely sucked. Like we, we spent over an hour, I would say about two hours, maybe an hour and a half trying to locate surf perch and we were wading out into the waves and just, it was it was terrible. We didn't, we didn't really get a single bite there. I actually have some footage, so I'll play some of that now just so you have an idea of what that looked like. As you saw in the footage, we didn't catch anything. The fishing was so bad that we decided to try our luck at another beach nearby that we sometimes go to. And we usually have a really good, really good luck there. But the night was just so bad for fishing that my buddy only caught one fish and I only caught this tiny little microscopic Aww. fish that I was actually really sad to bring in. Anywho, all of that to say is that it was an unsuccessful fishing trip and I was really planning on filming a catch and cook for you guys. So I decided that today, since I still never got to eat my fish, I'm gonna go into Whole Foods, get some ingredients, and I'm gonna whip it up right here in the Whole Foods parking lot. I don't know how strict they are about cooking in here. I don't know if they've ever had to deal with somebody cooking in their parking lot, but we're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully they don't kick us out. Uh, let's just go get some ingredients. By the way, yes, I did, I did get a very, very, very short haircut. I actually tried to cut my hair myself and we all know how that probably turned out. So I ended up having to just cut it really, really short, but that's okay, it's summer, it's hot. I like short hair anyways, but it's a big change from the really long hair that I was rocking just a couple days ago. Feels really good. All right, let's go inside Whole Foods. to do all the prep work first just because I want to minimize the time that I'm actually cooking just to also minimize my chance of being asked to leave or to not cook here. Well obviously you would want to do your prep work before starting to cook anyways so I guess there's nothing really new here. So we're gonna be doing a garlic lemon pan seared salmon. Oh crap. So right now the first thing is gonna be to mince the garlic. Probably like three cloves. Actually, we'll do one more. Four cloves. It's a lot of garlic, I know, but I love garlic. You guys know this about me by now? All right, the garlic is prepped. Now we're gonna prep the actual salmon. So I got this fresh wild-caught king salmon. It was on sale. Still 
crazy expensive, but I've never had I've never had wild caught king salmon, so figured why not. Oh, it's a beautiful cut. I also had them take the skin off as well, which was super cool that they do that. Looks delicious. I actually kind of have loose plans to go fish one of the autumn salmon runs this year. Hopefully it actually comes true. I don't know, it, it, like I said, it's loose plans, so don't hold me to it, but we'll try to make it happen. So all we're gonna do to season, we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna do lemon juice. Good amount of lemon juice. Some salt. And cracked pepper. And we're gonna season up the other side too. And that looks ready to go. We're all prepped and ready to start cooking. I just want to make sure that we spend as little time with the stove out actually cooking as possible because I don't know if this is allowed here or not, but so we're going to try to do it stealthy as possible. Might as well prep the butter as well. I think I'm going to do about a tablespoon. Yeah, that sounds about right. Cool. That's ready to go. All right, let's get to cooking. I don't have a lighter, so I'm gonna have to use these matches. from everyone else. People are still looking over like, what the hell is this guy doing? Cooking a gourmet salmon meal in the back of his truck. Oh shit, I just re Oh my gosh, guys, I just realized that there are fire alarms all through this entire parking lot. And the salmon was really starting to smoke up, so I had to take the salmon off right away because I don't want to risk a fire alarm going off. Holy crap. Whew. That was scary. For a moment, I had like a brief little panic attack because all the smoke was like going straight to the fire alarm. I thought, oh shit, I'm about to set off the fire alarm. But I think we're good. I think we're good. I think the salmon is just, Unfortunately, it's gonna have to be it's gonna be have it's gonna have to be eaten just like the way it is. So, I didn't get a chance to fully cook it, but I don't want to risk the fire alarm going off. Ooh, man, that was a close call. I'm telling you, the smoke was literally just right into the smoke alarm. I don't know, I don't know how it didn't go off, but oh god, I had a panic attack. Okay, I guess we'll just try to cook or uh, eat the salmon as is, and hopefully it's good. So I put the cast iron on the ground over here because I was trying to get it as far away from the smoke alarms as possible. But let's just put some of this garlic in here. It's still hot, luckily the cast iron holds heat really well. So I'll try to get that mixed up a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's done. I'm, I'm, I'm done, yeah. Yeah, no worries, but just try not to do it too much when it gets too much uh, smoke. Okay, right. okay, thanks. 
So a security guard just came over to talk to me, and apparently some concerned customers uh, saw me cooking over here, and they reported me to Whole Foods. So the security guard was totally cool. Um, it probably wasn't the smartest idea for me to cook down here anyways, just because, like, the potential to set off the fire alarms. But he was really cool. He said, just wrap it up and don't do it again. That being said, I'm just going to eat the salmon that I have, and then we're going to get out of here. Oh, it does look pretty good, even though I didn't get to finish. Still looks delicious. Well, sadly, I'm not gonna get to eat any broccoli with it because I don't think it would be a smart idea to continue to cook. So I'm just gonna eat the salmon and then we're gonna get out of here. It looks like it probably cooked thoroughly uh, because the cast iron was still hot when I took it off the heat. So I think that it just finished up off the fire, if that makes sense. Looks really tasty regardless. Wow, king salmon, delicious. The garlicky lemon butter is like super good paired with it. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I really can't believe, but I'm, I'm not entirely surprised that there's people out there who would call security on somebody who's literally just cooking food in the parking lot. Like, what harm am I causing? Hmm? None, I bought this food here. Whatever. All you could do is worry about yourself, right? Let the Karens out there, let the Karens out there uh, do what they want to do. And I just realized that I completely forgot to bring paper towels or anything to clean up with. So I'm gonna have to go into Whole Foods and get some paper towels. Cause I made a mess. Yum. I went upstairs and got a smoothie because I felt like I felt like my lunch was incomplete because I was asked, I was told to stop cooking. It's a pretty good smoothie. So I got to thinking and I mulled it over a little bit, everything that happened, and I realized that the person who called security on me, clearly I did something that made them feel uncomfortable, whether they thought I was a crazy homeless per person cooking drugs in the parking lot or maybe they were vegan and they were upset that they had to smell salmon being cooked as they try to go into Whole Foods to get their tofu. That sounded a little bit hateful towards vegans and I'm really not. I actually used to be vegan, which some of you might remember. So it was not meant to cast shade at vegans. It was just kind of a joke. But anyways, whatever the reason, I made them feel uncomfortable and a lot of the time when people are uncomfortable rather than confronting the situation themselves, like an adult, they get scared and they run and try to get a mediator to come handled the situation for them. So bottom line is, should have minded their own business. I really don't care. It's honestly, it was probably stupid of me to cook food in a enclosed parking lot. And I would definitely recommend you don't do it and I will never do it again. Uh, and I'm just glad that the fire alarm didn't go off because that would have been all bad. That would have been really embarrassing and there might've been some serious repercussions. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys like always for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I don't know how it's gonna turn out given all the interruptions that we had to go through, but the salmon turned out great, and uh, that's it. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own, live life, beat the status quo, y'all know the drill already. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. I actually already filmed this entire segment once, but my camera was completely out of focus, so I had to film it again. Joys of being a YouTuber. All right, bye. Check out these sick banana shorts, though! <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs>